Donald Trump is expected to appear at an Atlanta jail this evening and Piers Morgan has since taken to Twitter and reacted to the social media furore. Piers Morgan joked that Donald Trump's hotly anticipated mugshot is going to send people into anaphylactic shock. The businessman, 77, is set to make history on Thursday as the first former U.S. president to submit to a mugshot when he appears at an Atlanta jail to face criminal charges of trying to overturn his 2020 election defeat in Georgia. Taking to microblogging site X this evening, Piers couldn't resist reacting to the news, as he tweeted, Trump's mugshot tonight will send social media into an anaphylactic shock. The talk TV presenter, who is currently soaking up the sun in Antigua, was inundated with comments as people reacted to his cheeky jibe. One social media user replied, Trump's mugshot tonight is going to break the internet. Another chimed in, anaphylactic shock is an understatement. While a third added, refreshing that newsfeed hashtag Trump mugshot, Trump has said he will be arrested in the state capital, Atlanta, at 23.30 Greenwich Mean Time on Thursday. The former president is expected to be fingerprinted and have his mugshot taken when he surrenders at the Fulton County Jail. The Fulton County Sheriff has suggested Trump will get a mugshot as other defendants at the prison do. Saying he would follow, normal practices, unless told otherwise, and other co-defendants in the case, including Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell, have had their mugshots taken upon turning themselves in. Trump agreed Monday to post $200,000 as a condition of his release, including $80,000 for racketeering and $10,000 for each of his other 12 counts. The former president has been charged alongside 18 allies, including members of his administration and personal lawyers. About a dozen Trump supporters, some holding flags, gathered outside the jail awaiting his arrival. Trump faces 13 felony counts in the Georgia case, including racketeering, which is typically used to target organized crime, for pressuring state officials to reverse his election loss and setting up an illegitimate slate of electors to undermine the formal congressional certification of Biden's victory.